Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about what are the minimum list of topics that you need to learn from Java side in order to get started with automation. Okay, so as of now, I'm taking example of Selenium, but these are the list of Java topics you need basically in order to start any automation tool. So I'm getting almost 10 to 15 emails every day that I have to start automation, but I'm confused. What are the Java topics I need to start because Java is vast, right? You cannot learn everything from the Java side. So what are the minimum set of topics that you need to you know, study in order to get started? Again, I'm saying minimum, okay? Again, there's no limit. You can learn the additional topics and you can implement the same. But these are the minimum set of topics that you need to study in order to start with Selenium, okay? So I have noted down all the points. I will just write down all the points one by one. So the first thing that you need to start with the syntaxes okay you need to understand the syntax and i will also say you need to understand some conventions java also has some list of conventions that you have to follow when you, whenever you start so once you understand the conventions because as you the moment you start working the package name should start with the lower case okay keyword should will start with the lower case class interface and will start with the capital list getters so like these are some set of conventions that we have in java that you need to understand now you need to understand the data type okay the different kind of data types we have in java now when you talk about any programming language guys okay not only java any programming language data type is the most important part so first part is what data you have second part is how do you manage this data so once you understand this data type you can manage this data easily so in the data type again you will be uh, covering two data types i will not say two data types basically the two section one is primitive data type and second is non primitive okay once you understand the data type different kind of data type now you need to start with operators okay now let's say you got the data let's say you have int a equal to 10 int b equal to 20 so you can see these are the operator this is assignment operator so now again we have different categories of operators in java so these cat operators also very important so we have equal to double equal to not equal to less than equal to greater than equal to logical operators binary operators so you need to understand about the different kind of operators we have and when to use what now once you understand the operator part then you need to start with oops concept okay now in what is oops now object oriented programming language so you need to understand what is object but before you start object you need to understand what is class so now inside this oops concept you need to cover classes then you need to cover op what is objects then you need to cover the different oops concept inheritance then we have polymorphism okay then we have abstraction and finally we have encapsulation i'm not writing everything on the board otherwise it will be a little time consuming i'm just writing a short form so you need to understand what are these classes why we need these classes okay how we can create the classes what is inner classes how do we create object okay as we have seen multiple times okay class is a blueprint of object so what is object how we can create object how it is linked with the class then you can start with inheritance inheritance like what what is inheritance first of all why do we need inheritance what if you have two classes how do you inherit again inheritance type single inheritance multiple inheritance multi-level inheritance then you start with polymorphism in the polymorphism again you need inheritance so polymorphism again we have uh, runtime compile time in runtime you will be has, having method overriding right and in compile time you have again okay, method overloading constructor overloading so before this okay you also understand about just after this what is method what is constructor because in polymorphism you will be doing method overloading method overriding and constructor overloading as well so before you move to polymorphism you also understand what is methods what is constructor how to pass the parameters to the methods methods how to pass parameter to the constructors how we can return the values okay then you also cover abstraction and encapsulation so these are the basic oops concept that you need to cover now once you're comfortable with this 
okay you can start exploring about what is enum why we need how do we use then slowly you start with interface now once you understand interface again you can cover this polymorphism which is runtime polymorphism and then you also start with what is abstract class okay if you don't understand interface you cannot understand abstract class so once you understand interface then you understand what is abstract class why do we need it and how we can use it now you can start with arrays okay what is arrays how do we use array what are the advantages disadvantages and once you understand array now comes the main part collections okay i hope it is visible if not i can write down here okay once you understand array limitations okay you can start with collection now in the collection again we have list right we have set now you need to understand the different classes and different classes which we have been set so inside list again we have array list we have linked list inside set we have hash set linked hash set tree set sorted set so you need to cover this as well now once you cover this you will understand the limitations of array so now you can easily connect with array list and linked list if you don't know the limitations of array then you will not be able to relate it inside the set also you just need to cover hash set linked hash set and tree set internally tree set uses uh, sorted set that's fine so even if you cover this part that's fine now during the collection you will also use iterator okay so you understand how this iterator works why this iterator is required how we can use this iterator with list and set now again guys uh, order wise it's not the only order you can change the order i will tell you what order you can change now you can also cover here the control statement okay then we have loop statement the different kind of loops we have then you can also cover about the packages what is package how do we create package sub packages and the moment you start working with packages now you can also study about the access modifier okay so now we have different kind of access modifier so we have public we have private we have protected we have default okay so just study about the different kind of access modifier we have and how do we use them and yeah then yeah the very important part now the keywords okay So Java 8 has around 53 keywords and the moment you start going through all of this Java topics you will be covering almost 30 keywords okay but I just want to highlight these list of keywords because we will be using uh, these keywords very frequently so you need to understand this keyword super keyword you need to understand about final keyword okay then you can also cover a static keyword throw and throws okay that anyways I will cover now when we talk about exception handling okay and yeah we have break statements okay so this is break keyword then we have continue keyword so just make sure you cover these important keywords as well and because these keywords having the different usage on the different places so make sure you cover this part as well now what about this now you can start with exception handling what is exception how do we handle the exception what is the difference between exception and error okay the difference between throw and throws try catch try catch with finally try with multiple catch and once you are comfortable then you can also start with file handling part okay in the file handling again you can uh, you know cover how you can read external files whether it's a text file, XML, JSON file, CSV, any kind of file, you need to use this Java uh, file handling. Okay. So before you start collection, also read about wrapper classes. What is wrapper classes? Because these wrapper classes you will be using in collection. So understand what is wrapper classes? What is the difference between int a equal to 10 versus integer a equal to 10? Okay, because integer is a wrapper class, int is a data type. So understand what is wrapper classes and uh, please also cover the string class 
that I missed here, I will just write it down. What is string class? What is string buffer? String buffer and string builder. Anyways, we will not be using string builder, string buffer in Selenium, but yes, for interview point of view, you need to cover the difference between string class, string buffer, string builder. We will be dealing with string class mostly, but yes, you need to cover these as well. You don't need to write very complex program, just create uh, one reference call two three methods so that you can get the difference but mostly we will be using strict class i have video for each and every topic on my channel so if you find any issue let me know so let me quickly give you a small recap and let me also tell you tell you what order you can change okay so let's say you started with common syntax okay uh, convention then you understood that it right and now you know the different kind of operators now you can also immediately cover this control statement and loop statement because these loop statement control statement you will be using in all of these concepts okay so before you start this you can cover control statement loop statement here as well so that you can use these statements or uh, use this concept here as well now once you cover this part you can start with oops concept how to create class how to create object how to create method constructor Parameterized method, non parameterized method, parameterized constructor, non parameterized constructor, then inheritance single level, multi level, multiple endines, then polymorphism, runtime, compile time, abstraction, encapsulation, and then what is enum, what is interfaces, what is abstract classes, what is array. In array, again, you can cover single dimensional array, array multi dimensional array. In Selenium, we will be using 2D object array. When you start working with selenium so make sure you cover at least 2d array i'm not expecting 3d array 4d array but yeah single dimensional array and multi-dimensional array which uh, which is nothing but 2d array you need to cover string class string class you can cover uh here as well okay just after this loop statement control statement and then you start array and collection list set again array list linked list has set linked has set tree set iterator which you will be using here and then you can see packages also you can cover here okay that's not a i will say i will not recommend you can still cover these packages here you can cover this access modifier here as well but make sure when you say start packages then you will get the clear difference between these public private protected and default and then you start with exception handling and yeah file handling so this has this is list of java topics minimum okay maximum there's no limit you can start with threading then once you're comfortable you can start with uh, advanced concepts as well you can also read about the stream apis okay that's a very good part but again if you don't want to do that these are minimum set of topics that you need to study in order to get started with selenium okay that's all from my side if you need video uh, links then i will try to give you link of each and every topic and if you don't find this links let me know in the comment section and I will try to make dedicated video if you don't find any video on any of the topic. That's all from my side. Thank you so much guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.